Good day, good day! How the hunk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O, and I've got something for you today. Yeah, we got some big boys in here. 118 scale Land Rover Freelanders from the Erdo Collectibles. Yeah! So let's take a look at this bugger right here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where I got this one from. <laughs> Let's start that right out. I think I bought this at a store. Um, uh, yeah, but uh, let's take a look at the uh, the packaging here first. Uh, Freelander, steerable wheel, opening doors, detailed deca uh, di uh, chassis, complete interior, far from flanken Oh, wait, that's German. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, what is that? What, what the heck? I thought those were four different lists, but it's just four different things. I think this is French. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That I'm sure is German. Anyway, there you go. Let's take a look at that side. Come back to the front here. Did you get a, get a shot of the top there without getting too much glare? Not too bad. This is a nice red version here. Very beautiful. Let's take a look at this side here. And, oh, we got the same thing. All right, all right. Let's go right around to the back then. What do we got? We have, once again, four different languages for our uh, reading pleasures. I'm just going to zoom in here and you guys can uh, go ahead and uh, freeze frame that. Here's the uh, what I'm calling French. And here is the uh, German. And I, I don't know what that... Norwegian, maybe? I'm not sure. There you go. Design Rights International Foundation Courts. That's uh, F F Francis Road. And Windsor, Windsor Brins, Brins Berkshire. That's, uh, yeah... Some Land Rover uh, jargon stuff there. So there you go. Pretty pretty neat kind of definition of what's going on there with this Freelander. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. I hope we got to flip it around here. All right, we have some... Uh, please retain this address uh, for reference. There you go. So we it's screwed to the base. All right, we got that figured out. And here we go. So we've got this uh, Freelander's trademark of Rover Group Limited Edition and uh, under licensing by the Ertl Company. Yes, 1997, Jarsville, Iowa. There you go, made in Macau. There you go, all right. UPC if you'd like to see that. But not suitable for children under eight. Contains may contain small parts. There you go. Well, that one's got more languages on there. Holy cow! Is that Hebrew or Greek at the bottom? Bird God, verse but Ben dress the very reference. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. So there is a. Uh, Red version. I say that because whoa, ho, oh, holy cow! Hold on, we got an earthquake here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm getting, I'm getting suited around here to show you this one. We got a black one now. Yeah, let me get this one out of the way. We got a black one. Same packaging. Now this one I do remember. Um, a buddy of mine in Wisconsin, Matt. He picked this one up, and I don't really know, remember where he picked it up at, but uh, picked up a black one. Now, I just found out that these uh, are right hookers. Yeah. All right, peek at the bottom, same thing. Peek at the end, same thing. And... Peek at the back here, same thing. All right, all right. Well, there you go. So there was a red and there was a black. And as far as I know, 
that's all there was. All right, guess what I got for you today? I got you a treat today. Check this out. Oh man, I think these are so big I don't know what to do with them. I got one loose. Yeah. Got a loose bugger. <laughs> now, I do remember where I got this one from. Uh, local town where I kind of work in, uh, in that. Uh, Adams. Adams Friendship. They have a uh, flea market that goes oh, March till October. And uh, over there one day and uh, check it out. We got, found one of these buggers. I don't remember what I paid for it. Uh, I didn't really care because um, it's big, it's uh, pretty much intact, it's been living out in the uh, west coast, or uh, maybe the east coast with all this salt, or maybe just Wisconsin, I don't know, <laughs> Lake Erie, but uh, yeah, heavy bugger, heavy bugger, this is a plastic base to it, uh, you can kind of see where they uh, screwed to the uh, base here and here, screwed to the base. I don't know if we can get in here and kind of see any of the writing there. 118 scale Freelander, Roverland Unlimited, Earl made in Macau, but uh, pretty interesting underneath there. Separate exhaust piece, that's pretty cool. Uh, don't mind all the dirt and everything and everything going on there. But uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. So let's take a look at some of the features here. We'll go around to the front. Uh, Land Rover Freelander 200. Uh, it's got lens details in there. Nice badge. Plastic front bumper, as it were. I believe the hood opens on this, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, got a hood opening on there. Can't really kind of see in there. It's all just black. But, uh, yeah. Very nice. Uh, it's all just black in there. But, yeah, it does say uh, transverse engine. Got the, uh, looks like a couple of parts and pieces in there. That, uh, man, I tell you, that's kind of hard to see in there, ain't it? There we go, now we're getting it. Hold it still and let it focus. Yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. Come around to the side there. Got the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, got a uh, gas cap there. Little Land Rover insignia on the side. A little decal there for the marker light. Nice eyebrows there. Decal uh, uh, insert. Uh, Rear tail light inserts, pretty nice. Kind of funny, <laughs> get around to the back there. So uh, I had my significant other with me. Um, she's no longer with me anymore. <laughs> Not because of this, but anyway, I asked her to hold this while I was looking at some other stuff. She set it down, promptly rolled off the, the table and uh, broke off the uh, <laughs> rear <laughs> rear. <laughs> rear tailgate so i had to do some work there and put that back together but anyway hey that's a pretty rough shape already so it was no big deal got me to play it around with this thing nice uh insert there on the uh the boss land rover on the rear bumper pretty awesome there full size spare tire it's got the third light there license plate Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's go back around to the side here and open up the side door. Yep, right hooker. Pretty interesting interior there. Two-tone green and gray. Nice. Pretty nice steering wheel in there. Pretty, pretty accurate there. Door skins are pretty neat. Two pieces. Yeah. Or is that, oh, that's one piece, but they colored it two, two colors. Well, actually three because there's another color there. It's got a mirror, uh, that's one little piece there, that's a little plastic piece with a little reflective or piece there. Let's take a look at the other side here, passenger side, pretty nice. Now I do happen to know that these seats do kind of move in there. Not much, but they do. Pretty awesome there. Take a look at it. 
So there you go. Pretty neat little uh, truck, I tell you. It's uh, very nice, very heavy. 118 scale. Um, yeah. Well, I got one more surprise for you. <laughs> so I was moving. <laughs> I'm moving stuff to my shop, and uh, I'm going to bump into the camera again. And uh, I remembered this. Well, I kind of remembered this. Check it out. I, took, I had another one, a red one. I don't know where I got this one from, uh, but I took it apart. And, uh, yeah, so we could take a quick look at this um, while well, we can, if you want to. Hopefully you're sticking around. Now, I did detail it. This is what the engine looked like. Now this, I did start detailing and put some uh, yellow things uh, there, you know, and here's a, uh, I don't know if that's the uh, accelerator cable or whatnot, but uh, detailed the, started detailing the motor and the uh, battery, some of the stuff. So pretty, pretty neat, pretty neat. Painted some of the washer stuff on the side um oh yeah look at there painted the skid plate silver drive train pretty neat pretty neat uh was doing some detailing on the inside uh stick shift and the uh emergency brake but there you go that kind of gives you a little more details on the engine um yeah i don't know really if anything else is really detailed had a uh, different color for the interior. Here, we're just going to put some jerry cans on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, painted the exhaust. Uh, I haven't been in here forever. So uh, here's some pretty fancy uh, seats. Had some really, really nice seats to it. So uh, there you go. That's a little bit different than the black ones. But uh, yeah, so... Uh, oh, geez, dropping parts all over. So yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't know, that's kind of a weird paint job on there. But, uh, yeah, stick around. Uh, eventually, uh, I'm going to be uh, finishing this project. I don't know if I'll change the color. You know, hey, drop a comment down below. Let me uh, know what you want to see out of this car and uh, see what we can do with it, huh? Uh, like I say, I haven't uh, messed with this in so long. Uh, I forgot all about it. So there you go. All righty. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me. We'll take a look at this one before we, while we leave. Big old heavy things they are. Boy, oh boy, they are heavy. But that's all right. That's all right. We like them heavy. They're heavy? Is it heavy? Then it's expensive. Put it down, huh? <laughs> Jurassic Park. All right. There you go. Thank you for joining me today for an Ertl 118 scale. Freelander from Ertl Collectibles. Make sure you come over to Facebook, Roverland, Instagram, Roverland channel. And uh, as always, give me a big thumbs up if you like what you see. And subscribe and share. That's the best way to help out right there. Share and subscribe. All right, going to call it a video. You know what to do. Slow traffic, keep right. And have a great, wonderful Rover Day.